Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Deadpool Wave Cable. Alright guys, and here's Cable out of the packaging, looking freaking bulky as hell. Um, honestly, it's an amazing figure in hand. It's freaking badass. But let's take a look at his accessories first, and then we'll take a look at him. So here's a look at his bigger gun. It's pretty badass. It uh, clips into his back right there. Here's a look at his handgun. Really cool detail in there. This other handgun. Alright, so the back of the packaging reads A powerful mercenary, Cable uses telekinetic abilities and combat expertise to get the job done. Alright, so aesthetically this figure looks amazing. It reminds me of the old uh, the old school one that had like, you know, six points of articulation. Uh, I really think they were going after that look. But uh, he looks freaking badass. He has the, the nuke boots and legs that are just painted tan. And then we go up top and the upper torso looks to be a new mold. And then he has a silver arm and his regular pale arm. And he has a trigger finger and an open hand. He does not come with... Um, any alternate hands or anything like that, which I wish he did, because this hand's kind of pointless. Um, a few things move around, so this is actually, you can move it around, take it off, if you pop the head off, you can take that off. Um, I don't want to remove the eye right now, but I do, I do know that that comes off. Um, so here's the back of the figure, where he has his pouches, this is where the rifle goes on, then he has two plugs right there. And he also has a gun holster right here on the back. Alright, so aesthetically this figure looks great. The hair came out really cool. Kind of has that Dragon Ball Z style. Has that earpiece in it. Um, the blue in his uniform came out really good. The X, -force, the X on his collar looks really good. The ammunition in his pouches right there look great. The green, the gold, the brown. Going down to his belt, that came out really, really cool. Going down to the pants, you have the two pouches, into the boots. And here he is with all his accessories. As you can see, the gun fits perfectly in his hand with his finger in the trigger, which is freaking awesome. This gun fits well in his pouch right there. Kind of looks kind of goofy, but it works. And <clears throat> the rifle fits perfectly on his back right there. It's really good. Sorry about all the noise. I am at a toy show, as this isn't my figure, and I was just able to review it. <clears throat> so, pardon all the noise. But yeah, this figure is freaking badass. Alright, let's go over his articulation real quick, and then we'll get into size comparisons. So, I did think that the shoulder pads were going to we're going to hinder his articulation, but as you can see, you can just move that right around. And the arm goes up like that. And then it can 360. And then double jointed elbows. Got a wrist hinge. Okay. This one, same thing. And then we have an open hand. 
hinge twist. You can crunch forward pretty well. Yeah, And then back. Right. Also turns there. Legs go out that far. Double joint and knee. Ankle pivot. Nice. So here's a quick size comparison with cable next to Strife and the Ascension cable. Um, he looks damn good next to that Strife um, and he looks so much bulkier over that cable, over the Ascension cable, so this size looks excellent to me. His size next to Strife is spot on. I mean, that, that was the, spot, the size we should have gotten originally. Um, I really like this look. They look great next to each other. Um, he looks so much bigger than the, uh, the Ascension cable, as you can see. And the head looks so much better, shit. And I couldn't find a Bucky Cap mold, but here is Cable next to the Spider-Man 2099 and Carl Mordor from the Doctor Strange Wave. Uh, he looks about a foot taller than them, so th I mean the size comparison is spot on to me. So Cable's a lot bigger than these guys. And for the kicks, here he is next to a Toy Biz Marvel Legend Wolverine. So he's a lot bigger than him, and I kind of like the way that looks. <laughs> So to tell the truth, I'm not happy. I'm not too happy with his gun. Uh, he kind of holds it weird, and when he has it in both hands, it kind of looks kind of funny to me. Um, but as you can see on this side, he holds it kind of kind of weird, the way it like goes over his shoulder. Definitely looks cool. So when he's holding it like this, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If you try and aim it in front of him, the uh, the shoulder pad kind of gets in the way. Um, I know it does come off, but I'm not going to take it off because, again, this is not my figure. But uh, that's kind of one gripe I have right there, is the gun, the little holder in the back, kind of too big. So this is kind of the best pose I could get him in holding the gun like that. Again, like I said, the little holder part right there hinders, hinders the way it looks because he can't aim forward. Uh, it looks kind of silly to me. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this review. Thanks for watching. Uh, super lucky and thankful for being able to review this. So shout out to Donald again. Um, so I can't wait to get this figure in hand. Uh, it'll be another two months before we get it. I believe the street date is April 1st. So two or three months. Um, but thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys thought of the figure. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.